guys welcome back to the channel if you are new here please make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you've been here before you are probably used to us doing crazy things like the pranks and just messing with people in public um, and the funny skits which we are still going to be doing that but we got something new for you today we're getting a baby well we're gonna treat her like a baby it's really a puppy but it's a baby this is her right here her name is Denver Rose and we are going to pick her up in just a little bit. She is what you um, call a teacup tea Yorkie. So that means she's going to be anywhere between two and four pounds. That's usually what they size um, a teacup puppy as. So we are going to show you everything that we got for her, you know, before we actually went and picked her up. So um, things that we thought she would need or that she would like or things that I just wanted for her. And then we're also gonna take you on the trip with us. You know, um, we'll do a little footage there when we get there and then when we get back home and see how she gets adjusted in her new home. So yeah, so the first thing I wanna show you is um, basically like a puppy haul. Show you everything that we've got for her so far. Okay guys, so we are here with everything that we've already gotten for Denver before we even get her. Hopefully she's gonna like all this stuff, but if not, you know, we can always send it back with some of it. All right, so the first thing you always have to have for a new puppy is puppy pads. These are the smaller ones. They actually have a little Yorkie on here. But these are the smaller ones. You can get them in different sizes. These came from Amazon. Just about everything here came from Amazon. So if there's anything that I um, describe or talk about and you want to know um, where I got it from or you want the link, please, put a comment down below and I will respond to all the comments. So I will send you the link to whatever product it is that you're interested in. Um, then we're gonna start with her hygiene things. Look at this, isn't this the cutest? It's a doggy towel, a little hooded towel. With a little duck on it, came from Amazon. Actually has a little button so it can snap around her. This is it was supposed to be a blanket I ordered from Joy Buy on the Walmart website. Look how small this is. So they didn't want me to return it, so I'm keeping it as her washcloth. How cute with the bones. Other hygiene, we have um, fresh breath spray. And I also have the eye wipes. So you know how dogs can get the little crud in their eyes, so I'm going to try that with her. Um, we have a toothbrush kit for puppies you want to make sure you're getting everything for puppies guys like this says for puppies tartar control for puppies so you want to make sure you get it for puppies when you have a puppy um as far as her ears this says not to use until 12 weeks she will be nine weeks when we pick her up so i won't use this yet but um it's very you know it's very um easy to use it tells you everything on the back but there is the ear wash and there's the ear dry relief because you don't want them to be uncomfortable so when they're small, just try to make sure you don't submerge their heads in water. I mean, any size dog, but you know, just gonna clean her face very gently until I can use the, um, those products. This is for her coat. It's a silky coating brush spray. It smells very good. I believe it's like vanilla, jasmine vanilla. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And with Yorkies, they have that beautiful coat. So you wanna make sure it stays, that you're conditioning it and it stays very nice. Um, the shampoo that I got for her is a Tearless shampoo with buttermilk. It's the Burt's Bees. So this is the one we're gonna use for now. Some people get a conditioner. I did not get one. However, I might, so I'm not sure. But um, this is what I have for now. I also have bath, deodorizing bath wipes. Also, this came from Amazon. So if you just, you know, during between baths, you wanna just wipe them down. You can use this or like a waterless shampoo, but I'm gonna try these first since she's so small. And we also have this grooming spray. It smells just like baby powder. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Mm, I cannot wait to spray that on her. So yeah, that's cool. Amazon as well. And you get, you wanna make sure you get things for puppies. It says baby dog, so what a baby. As far as her grooming, I got this set off Amazon too. It's um, the brush, the slicker brush. It's self-cleaning, so when you're done, you just push it. You see the bristles that come out like that? It just pushes the hair right off. And it also came with the toenail trimmers. 
and this is the comb bow, where one side, of course, is closer than the other. So it's a grooming comb for the Yorkies. Very cute set, very inexpensive too. Okay, so that's as far as her grooming is concerned. Um, as far as different sprays, I'm just gonna show y'all what I have. I got this Febreze, I don't expect her to have a lot of odor, but I did grab that. This is just stain remover in case she has accidents on the floor. And this is what I will spray on the pee pads. It says go here, it's an attractant. So this should help her potty train pretty quickly, what we're hoping. All right. And for um, baby puppies, especially teacup size puppies, you wanna have NutriCal on hand at all times. I've been doing a lot of research and the breeder also told me as well that you wanna have this on hand just because their sugar, they're so small and their sugar can drop and they can, um, you know, like have a seizure or something like that. And that will be very, very scary for you and for them. So it's just best to have this, or you can also use like um, maple syrup or, you know, something else that your vet recommends. But just, to, you know, the easiest thing for me was to just grab this nutri -Cow. All right, and we did get her a couple of bones. They are for the small dogs, chicken flavored. She's gonna love chicken just like we do. We all love chicken. We just ate church's chicken, by the way. Then I got her some teething treats for puppies. It just helps them with their teething. Also chicken flavored. And some mini trainers, which I'm gonna be trying to use when, as we're training her or when we're giving her a bath, you know, to get her used to it and rewarding her for her good behavior. So that's that. And then onto her little blankets and her bed. I just got these, they're just a Gerber baby receiving blankets, that's just four. And we got this from Walmart. And I had a friend of mine put her name on it, Denver. This is the soft plush one, so she's gonna love that one. As far as her beds, she has two so far. This one will go in her playpen. We will show you guys the playpen and her whole little setup when we get back with her. This is actually the playpen. I got it off Amazon, it's from Zampa. It is so cool, y'all. It's so cool. So I'm gonna um, have it set up and everything when we get back and I'll show you at the, once we get back home. Um, this is just another little bed that I got. Very inexpensive, seven or eight bucks off Amazon just to lay you know, throughout somewhere in the house if she's in a different room from her playpen so that she has somewhere that she knows is her little area. And of course, I'll probably put a training pad beside it as well. So this is cute too. Both very soft. She'll be very nice and cuddly. Um, this is her little bowl. It's so cute. And they have googly eyes that I have to stick on here. So of course she'll have her food side and her water side. But the little eyes are gonna stick on there. It's gonna be really cute once I do that. Again, Amazon. Again, anything guys you wanna know where I got it from, I can either send you the link or tell you where I got it. Everything was, most of the stuff was from Amazon but I did get a few things from Walmart and PetSmart. Um, these are her toys. These five came in a set from Amazon. Really cute, makes a noise. I haven't taken them out the pack yet. I wanna take one of these with us when we go get her. And a little donut. So that came in a pack together. This little ball is at Walmart. That, I think, we, well, we got this at Ollie's discount store. That was before we even knew we were getting a dog. Before we even knew we were getting a dog, we grabbed that. Um, Dollar General. Just a little puppy thing. Uh, so then we have her hair bows. Aren't they just the cutest? Look how tiny. I think 30 hair bows in here off Amazon for like $8.99, y'all. You can't beat that. So, um, and then I have her little outfits which are gonna to be too big for her right now, but they're so cute, so cute. So we're gonna do those. Um, these came off Amazon. I got all six for I think like 16 or 17 bucks. It's so cute. Eat, sleep, play, poop, repeat. Look at that. Watermelon says sweet. I give free kisses. So we have those. And of course she has a lot of bows to match with it. Um, this is a little harness, it's very cute. It kind of looks like her bath wrap with the bones on it. And her leash, this came from PetSmart. And this is an extra, extra small, and it still looks too big for right now, but we're gonna try it on her and see. Um, these are three little collars. I want her to have the bell because she's gonna be so small, so we wanna make sure we hear her and aware that she's around us. 
I found all three of these on Amazon, I believe for $8.99, and it's the pink, purple, and black. So if she just, you know, one of these will go with whatever she has on that day. And every day she won't wear clothes, so I mean, probably more likely to have on the pink one. But we don't know yet. This is just a little bin that I'm gonna keep her toys in. Um, this came from Amazon as well. Pink with the little bow, uh, bones. And then we have her little carrying bag. Another Amazon purchase. Then I had my friend put her name on it. And the blue glitter it says Denver Rose. So cute. And this is her organizer. And I'm gonna hang on my closet door or my room door, I'm not sure yet. But all of her stuff that you see here, her cleansing items, her pads, things like that, I'm gonna hang so to keep it organized. So I'm gonna hang it either on the back of my bedroom door, my bathroom door, somewhere, but all of her things will go in here. I'm gonna have it organized. And I'll actually probably come back and show you guys that. I'll probably wait until I have it organized before we do the next part of the video or the last part of the video. So that's that. And the last thing are these little paw prints that I had my friend who did the monogramming for me. She printed me some purple paw prints and I'm gonna put them on the plastic pieces on here, some of them on here to make it look like, you know, so they're purple. You can't see them right now. You'll see it better when I peel it. And I'm probably gonna put two on her playpen. I'm not really sure. Still undecided about that, so I don't know. Hmm, and you guys haven't seen the playpen yet, so I can't ask your opinion, but um, but yeah, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna put two on the playpen or not, but they will go on some of these plastic parts here just to make it look girly and things like that, so. But yeah, guys, that is everything that we have for Denver Rose already, which is everything she needs. Everything she needs other than puppy food. And the only reason I didn't get the puppy food yet is because the uh, breeder said she's gonna give me plenty. So, and I want to make sure that it was what she really likes before, you know, getting a big bag of it. Cause it will last her a while. I believe it's a 15 pound bag that I was looking at. So it'll last her a little tail a while. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys are excited to see more content on her. Just as excited as we are to go get her. So let us get on the road and we'll be back.
bit of information that I found out and things that I was um, made aware of when I was searching for my puppy. Um, I do know that there are a lot of people out here scamming, especially during this time. Uh, during the pandemic, a lot of people are looking for puppies. A lot of people are, you know, trying to either charge you too much for them or they're scamming. They don't even have puppies. They're picking, getting pictures from other people's social medias and they are using them as their own and saying that they have puppies for you to come and purchase. So some of the things you want to look for is if they tell you they can't, you can't come see the puppy, if they can't FaceTime you with the puppy, if the price is too, too low, you don't, you, you already know it's a scam. They're just trying to get anything out of you. They can say they're selling, you know, a Yorkie puppy for $500 and you're like, oh, great. But no, there's just, you're not going to find a Yorkie puppy for $500. Not in my opinion. Um, they are used, they usually run a little bit higher than that. And again, this is just talking about a Yorkie is was my main focus um and i did see a lot of i did join a lot of facebook groups you know uh people that were selling them just people who already had them that were telling little cute stories and things like that so it kind of was you know keeping me excited while i was waiting for our baby to be ready to come home but um so yeah you, you just want to be very careful um you want to make sure that you're choosing a breeder who actually cares about the the puppies you don't want somebody who is just there to make a dollar. You want them to be telling you, you know, sending, constantly sending you pictures, telling you when they're winning them off their mother, telling you how they're doing with potty training. Um, they should, you should have a relationship with them as far as talking and, and things like that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I want to tell you guys about that. Just be very careful. Don't get just so excited and caught up in the moment. I think that's how a lot of people have gotten scammed because they just get caught up in the moment and like, oh, I can buy one for this much. I can save this. And, you know, it's either not a, a, a breeder with a good reputation or it's a scam. So you just, you know, you want to make sure you're getting a healthy puppy. And um, <laughs> a fun fact about him, guys, he is not a dog person at all. So to see him, I can't wait to see him with this little dog because I'm sure he's probably going to be one of the be with the dog more than we are playing with her. So, yeah, right, y'all. He's already smart. Come here, Denver. Come here. And his little baby boy is already getting ready. And it, she wouldn't have her yet. So, anyway, he did. He actually did name her. I threw the Y in there, though. I made it look unique. So, it's Denver, D Y N V E R. And I chose the middle name Rose. So, Denver Rose. But yeah, so he is, he's going to have a soft spot for Denver, I already know. Never had a dog as a kid, never liked dogs. Hey, um, listen. Just not a dog person. When I go to people's house and they got a dog off the top, I'll be like, man, get your dog, man. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Go on and get your dog. The dogs play too much. That's know. their house. You can't tell somebody to lock their dog up because you can't. Yeah, if you don't want me at your house, put your dog out there. I will leave. You go in the room and let them come in there and talk to you and the dog still gets to roam around. Well, I'll be roaming around, find that car, where the keys are, I'm out of here. So yeah, this is going to be funny. So guys, make sure you stay tuned to see videos and stuff of him and Denver. So, But anyway, again, if you have any questions um, about, you know, my, my breeder, she is in North Georgia. I could give you her information. Um, I do know a few other ones that are like in South or towards, I would say middle Georgia, Henry County area, but they just didn't have what I needed at the time. So I haven't personally purchased a puppy from them, but I do know some reliable sources who have. So I know they're not scammers. So, so um, about how far we just drove and what we did first. We, uh, oh yeah, we actually came to see her three weeks ago. She was six weeks old. We came here. Um, we drove two and a half hours just to make sure <laughs> that, you know, it, it was legit. And um, and we held her and everything, and we just fell in love with her that day. So we are two hours in our drive now. We got about, what, about 25, 30 minutes left to get her, and then a two hour drive back home. So yeah, we love this little girl already. So we're excited, and when we get her, we will come back on. You got anything else you want to add? Nope. I can't wait to see him, y'all, with Denver. So, all right, we'll be back.
Look at that face. Look. So we're going to be on the road again and we'll let you know. We'll get back with you guys. <laughs> Just sweet. Okay, everybody. So I'm going to be honest with you. It is the next day because we were very tired when we got back last night. So I will go ahead and show you the playpen all set up and the organizer with everything that I showed you um, earlier during the puppy haul part. So um, here's her playpen. As you see, we have her little blanket here with her name on it. I also just went back to Walmart um, and got her another one. It was only $4.86 because it's so soft and she loves it. So I've got her another one to actually keep in her um, pen. She actually likes that bed better than the other one. So that's why it's in there. She kind of pulls up the other one because she's teething. So we're going to use this one for now. And we have her little bowl over there. I did put the googly eyes on it. Yes, I'm talking about your stuff. And then she's got a few toys in there. As you see, you see us. Look, that, I'm talking about my stuff. And then I was able to get the little collar on her on the very last one, but it's still kind of big, but, um, and she does not like it. So I'm trying to let her get used to it. But um, yeah, so anyway, about the organizer, as you can see, this one again has the six compartments. I did have one with four. I did add the little paw prints. Aren't they cute? So I did two, two, one, one, two, and that's how I did those and I put most of the grooming things up here the first two and then this is that grooming set that I showed you earlier with the brush and comb and this one has her little shirts and hair bows and we have all her clean blankets in here this one is the cute one that the breeder gave her with the little rainbows so it's all good and clean and the other four receiving blankets here. And we have her training pads in the very last one. I did go ahead and order some, and uh, get some, got some of the shampoo that had the conditioner in it. So I do have that now. Um, and this one I may just use to wash her things in for a while. Um, and don't forget to make sure that when you are getting these things, if you get these things, that you read the directions very carefully. Some things may say not until eight weeks, 12 weeks, always ask your vet. These are things that I just went ahead and bought. Um, I did see some of them on some other like Yorkie 101 videos. So that's where I got the ideas from, but I'm gonna make sure, you know, she's old enough before I start using those. So, so far I've only used the shampoo, the eye wipes, and like the uh, body sprays, you know, for her, her fragrance. Um, so that's about it. Don't forget to um, comment if you want to know, oh, if you want to know anything um, about any of the products, how they're working for us, uh, where I got them. If you ask me in the comments, I will be more than happy to put the link, I'll uh, reply with the link for you. Uh, I will make sure I answer every comment uh, on this video because I know how it is when you get a new baby, you want to know things, you want to know everyone else's experience. Um, of course, we are trying to do the potty training with the pads. That is going to take us a while. So we're just trying to be patient with her on that. Um, now, as long as she's in her playpen, she does, she goes on the, on the pad, but she has a little trouble when she's not. So if we're not standing right there with her, but it's okay, we're going to get it. Say, so, yeah. And when our hair gets long enough, we're going to put on a little bow for you guys. So you guys can see her with a bow. And I'm gonna just show you, let's see if she'll play around in her in her pen just a little bit. She may jump right out, but let's see. Here, girl. Here, baby. Here, baby. Look. You gonna show them how you play in your pen? You wanna eat something? Or drink something? No? <laughs> hey, baby. Hey. So thank you everybody for watching. So she's getting out, y'all. <laughs> so yeah, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to see more footage on little Denver Rose. Oh, she's going back in. We'll have more videos of her playing, guys, as she grows and everything. So just make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you can keep up with her. We'll be doing a little fun things with her too, so. 
give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you later. <laughs>